What's up guys, thanks for watching. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to create a custom battery pack capable of putting out whatever voltage or amperage you need uh, using just these little guys I got from China. They're about 66 cents a piece. I was able to put together this battery pack using 20 of those little guys for roughly 12 bucks. The spot welder that you'll need is a little bit more expensive. It's about $100. This little guy right here. All the way, all the way down at zero with a six, zero, two. Those are pretty good settings for spot welding these batteries. So before you get into welding your battery pack, you need to determine how much voltage and maximum output you're gonna need, the amp hours, um, all that stuff. So first off, these batteries are rated. You can see on the battery, it says that it's rated for uh, 6,000 mAh at 3.7 volts. That's not possible. I mean, just like with this battery chemistry, the most you could possibly have is like 3,300, and I think those are like the Panasonic batteries. These cheap 60 cent batteries from China, they're more like, uh, I don't know, 1,500 mAh, but they do have, uh, I, think, I think what China did is they labeled them 6,000 mAh because the maximum output that you get when you're pushing these reliably is about six amps. That's why they put 6,000 mAh on these batteries. Whatever, you know, it's, it was 60 cents. So we know that each one of these batteries is between 3.7 and 4.2 volts. We'll do, we'll say four volts to make it a round number at six amps. So if we want this battery to be, you know, 7.2 or rather eight volts, we put them in series like this. So this would be four volts, this would be eight volts, and this would be 12 volts, still at six amps. So this would be 12 volts at six amps. And if we want to give this battery more current output, more amps, we put them like this. So this battery would be four volts at six amps, 12 amps, 18 amps output. The battery we want to build, we know is going to be around 16 volts at 30-ish amps. So we got, uh, so we got four, eight, 12, 16 at six, 12, 18, 24, 30 amps. So we're gonna need 20 batteries to build the cell that we want. Um, precautions, always use safety goggles, especially with crap from China, and always use gloves. Because when you're spot welding, these things can splatter molten metal on you, your eyes, or your hands. It comes with this little tray for helping you line up these batteries that you're gonna be welding. First thing we're gonna do is get a strip of nickel, and it looks like one strip is just long enough to go across all the terminals. side. You don't want to work these spot welder machines too hard because they, uh, they're Chinese and cheap equipment and they just kind of burn out. That's what I was reading online though, but it does get the job done. So just don't be, you know, going too fast. Take your time. There we go. There we go, our first battery pack is welded. And I'll show you what these welds look like. You can see they're just spot welded on there. So we're gonna make three more of these things. We're gonna weld these all together and we're gonna hot glue them all together for a little bit more stability. And we're gonna have a high voltage battery pack. All right, so we've got our battery packs. We've just got to hot glue them together and weld them all together now. So we're basically making two of these and then sticking them together. I'm gonna make sure not to short these wires improperly though. Watch where metal goes because if, if metal shorts these wires after you started welding, it will weld to them. So just be careful. Let's stick them together. All right, so up until this point, I've made two of these packs look just like this. See they're all connected right there. And on the other side they're not connected. 
Uh, at this point, you want to be careful of any stray metal you have laying around on your workbench. Because if you short it, like with one of these, if you set it on there, it's just going to fuse to them. And then it's going to, it might blow up your battery. So, you got to be careful. Keep track, keep inventory of all the little metal pieces you have laying around. And then we're going to connect these batteries like this with just some hot glue. So they'll look kind of like this. And then we're gonna connect the stripe right down the middle. And then we'll have a positive and a negative lead and our battery pack will be almost finished. And if you're wondering where I got this component, this uh, battery spot welder or all these batteries, the links will be in the description of this video. And uh, if, you, if you haven't subscribed already, uh, you know, please subscribe to the channel. It helps a lot. Give me a thumbs up. Super appreciate it. Uh, and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. At this point, you gotta be very careful when you're connecting them. There's a stray piece of metal flying off onto the wrong leads. Could cause your battery to short. And that would be a bad situation. So be very careful. If you're having trouble with reach, you can bend these copper leads out a little bit and gain another inch or so. Just use a pair of pliers. And there we go, just like that, we have a 16 volt battery capable of uh, putting out 30-ish amps. And it was really easy to make, just a couple of simple supplies and we got them all from China. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'm gonna use this to now power my electromagnet. So I'm just gonna use little alligator clips for now. Heh. <laughs> Works like a charm. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And uh, you guys, please give this video a like and I'll come back at you with uh, some more fun projects in the near future. Talk to you soon.